Hello grade sevens. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little work with fractions and decimals. So we're going to learn how to take fractions and write them as decimals. And this is something that you've been doing for a while, but we're going to kind of jump into some a uh, little bit more complex, a little bit more involved situations. So the first thing I need to introduce you to is something we call repeating decimals. These are decimals in which a block of one or more numbers repeats over and over and over again. Okay, so I've got a couple examples here for you. Uh, 25 over 99, so 25 99s. If we wrote that as a decimal, what it would look like is it would look like this. 0 decimal 25, 25, 25, 25, and I can just put dot, dot, dot because it would continue over and over and over again. This is an example of what we call a repeating decimal. It just continues on and on and on, and you can see the pattern of the block of numbers that are repeating over and over. This 25 is repeating over and over and over again. So what we would do quite often is we'd write this as 0 decimal 25, and then we put this bar across the top, this line across the top, to tell the person that the 25 repeats over and over and over again. I'll give you one more example of this. 31 over 36 ends up giving us a value of 0 decimal, 8, 6, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then you can see the 1's repeat over and over again. So I wanted to show you how you'd write that. You'd write this as 0 decimal, 8, 6, and then the 1 here is repeating over, so we just put a line over the 1 to let people know that that 1 is repeating over and over and over again. So this is an example of a repeating decimal. The contrast to a repeating decimal is a terminating decimal. A terminating decimal is a decimal where it stops. Eventually, it comes to an end. It doesn't keep going forever and ever and ever. So this is an example. 70, 777 thousands would be written as, just a reminder, the decimal place, we've got our tens, hundreds, thousands. So how many thousands do we have? We have 777, and I'm going to just put a zero in front, and it ends. It stops it comes to an end, so we call it a terminating decimal. Let's just take a look here. A uh, couple things that's really important is if you can write your fraction as a fraction over a multiple of 10, it is then terminating. If you can't, then it is a repeating. So, for example, could we write an equivalent fraction here of two-fifths where it's out of 10 or out of 100 or out of 1,000? And the answer is, yeah, I picked a pretty easy one. We can write this one as out of, tenth, out of 10. Because 5 times what gives us 10? You can see it's 2. So to get my equivalent fraction, you can see I'm going to have to multiply the top by 2. You get 4 tenths. Now, we know that in our place values, we've got our 1s. We've got our decimal, and then our first one to the right of the decimal is tenths. So that means how much you have out of ten. So in this case, we have four tenths. So you can write this as zero decimal four. So any time that you could write a decimal or a fraction as out of ten or out of a hundred or out of a thousand, it would be considered a terminating decimal. Let's look at the next one here. One ninth. Uh, if we wanted to, we could think, oh, is it possible to write 9 and change it into 10 or into 100 or into 1,000? You can see you can't multiply 9 by a nice whole number to get something out of 10. And we could try it for 100 and it doesn't work. We could try it for 1,000 what could you multiply 9 by to get 1,000? And you're going to find out that it doesn't work as well. You could play with your calculator. It just doesn't work. So what ends up happening is if you try a whole bunch of options, it doesn't work. Pretty good chance that this is a repeating decimal. 
So if you can't write an equivalent fraction out of a hundred or out of a thousand, it would be considered a repeating decimal. Now let's take a look at our last one here. We have 53 out of 80. Uh, pretty clear, you can't write 53 out of 80 out of 10. So we're not even going to try. Okay? Could you write it as out of 100? No, because if you multiply by 2, you are at 160. So that doesn't work. Uh, could you multiply it by a, something to get 1,000? And the answer is no, I don't think that's going to work either. But when we get to a spot, you can write it as something out of 10,000. And so when we do that, what times 80 gives us 10,000? I'm just going to pull out my calculator and just take a quick look here. 10,000 divided by 80 gives me 125. So I can multiply 80 by 125. And then when I do this, I have to multiply 53 by 125. So 53 times 125 gives me 6,625. Now the moment I can write my fraction as something out of a multiple of 10, 10, 100, 1,000, and so on, I can then write it as a terminating decimal. So in this case, 10 thousands, so the spot would be tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and the number that goes above it, remember it ends at the ten thousands, two, six, six, and zero. So this would be 53 out of 80 is equal to 6,625 ten thousands. So you can see pretty quickly, if you can write a fraction as something out of a 10, something out of a 100, something out of a 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, it is a terminating decimal. Few important fractions I just want you to make a, be aware of. First one is 1 9th. 1 9th is a really important frac er, fraction because when you write it, it becomes 1, 0 decimal, 1, 1, 1, 1, repeating. So you can write it as simply 0 decimal 1 with a line over top and just repeats over and over again. 1 third, it's a fraction that you often see fairly common, so I wanted to show that one to you. Well, 1 third is actually the same as 3 ninths. So if 1 ninth is 0 decimal 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 repeating, 3 ninths would be just 3 times 0 0.111111 repeating, so it would actually just be 0 decimal 3, 3, 3, 3, and it continues on forever, which is the same as 0 decimal 3 with a line over top. So you can see that's 1 ninth is really important, 1 third it's something that you'll come across fairly regularly. Uh, if you ended up coming across 2 thirds, it's just 0.33333333 times by 2, which makes it 0 0.66666666 repeating, which is 0 decimal 6 with a line over top. Uh, last thing, and this is probably one of the more important things I can tell you, is just to remember that the line in a fraction is like division. So take your calculator, take the top number first, that's important, take the top number first, divided by 42. If you do this in your calculator, 8 divided by 42, it will give you the decimal. So in this case, it's 0 decimal 1904761904766. And you can see we actually get this block here that is going to be repeating over and over again. So this is 0 decimal 190476 repeating. So really important, the fraction line can be thought of as division, so 8 divided by 42 will give you your answer. I hope this kind of whirlwind tour helps you get going. Have a good one, Mass 7s.